Hi everyone, my name is Angela from Angela Stitches and welcome back to my channel. So this week I'm going to be working on Bliss by Just Nan and my goal for this is to finish this by this week because I only have a couple of bands left to stitch. So I think I only have... So this is the band that I'm working on right now and then I think three more and I think I can do that by this week. But I'm also planning on updating my shop with some new items so it depends on how long that takes but... Yeah, so last night I got some of these purple flowers inside these frames and it's pretty repetitive but I'm finding, I'm not finding it boring, it's actually really fun because it goes pretty fast and if I do like the first two of them, I can do the, the rest of the three pretty fast and also because I'm stitching by color, it goes pretty fast and then I'm also going to go back and I'm going to try finishing all of the beading that I skipped so I think there are beads here on this one and also down here and yeah and then I think that's all I skipped so I'm going to do that pretty soon and then I'm also planning on starting my next mirror this week um, I have the fabric and the floss so this is called Enchanted Mermaid and I kitted this up a while ago and I'm missing two colors here so yeah this one so 754 and 518 um, but I think that should be fine to start this project. And this is the fabric. I hand dyed this myself. Um, I think I talked about this too much on my channel, but it's a 40 count. And I also have a video of the process of hand dyeing this. But it was really fun to make this because I used a different method. And it came out really cool. But yeah, so if I start this, since I'm missing some colors, one of them being a skin color, I think. And I usually like to start from the middle with these now. So I'll probably work my way down if I want to make a lot of progress and start stitching with all of the blues, which sounds really fun because blues are my favorite colors to stitch with. So, or I can go up and work on her hair, but I'm going to try and start this sometime this week. But tonight I'm going to try and make a lot of progress on this band. Um, if I finish it, that would be great, but maybe just the cross stitches and maybe I'll leave the beading for tomorrow. So I just finished all of the cross stitches and it really didn't take that long so I think I'm going to start beading now. And there are some pearl looking beads and also some teal ones so I'm going to do that now. But before that there's some back stitching here outlining the inner parts of this frame and it calls for this olive greenish color and I'm thinking, I'm just thinking about skipping it because I think it's going to take a lot of time and I don't think it'll be that effective anyways. And also it looks pretty good right now, so I think maybe I'll try a little bit and then see if I like it. But if I don't, I'm just going to forget the back stitching and just get to the beading. So I'm checking in to show you my progress on my bliss, and I got this band finished last night. All of the cross stitches and also the beading, and I ended up not doing the back stitching, so except that it's finished. And I think it looks really good still without the back stitching. And then I also finished the beading up here with the giant roses. That was really fun and it looks really cute. And then I started beading this one here with the pearls and the pink beads. Yeah, I only got the pink ones done and there's a little bit more beading to do with the teal ones, but I got super tired so I'm going to finish that up tonight. And I'll add a better picture here of this close up so you can see the details more clearly. But after I finished beading on this band, I'm going to start the next one. I need to check where the next band ends though. 
um, because all of this could be considered one. So, but if I'm right, I want to finish the next band by tonight because it looks pretty skinny to me. And I decided to start Enchanted Mermaid at the end of September um, instead of this week when I work on my Rose Quaker because I want to just focus on Bliss this week so that I could finish it. And then next week, I'm going to start working on Baker's Wife again. And I want to just focus on that next week. So I still have this out to start, but after Baker's Wife, I'm going to take out my Rose Quaker again. And that project is pretty simple to stitch because it only calls for one or two colors per motif. So I'm going to start Enchanted Mermaid then. I just finished all of the cross stitches on these grapes, I think, little heart-shaped grapes. It looks really cute. So now I need to do some of these specialty embroidery stitches, which look really fun. So I'm going to start that now, but I forgot to finish the beading on this one. So I think I'll do these here as well right now. And there's only a couple left to do, I think, also some in here too. So I think I can do that pretty fast. So yeah, I'll check in again later if I can. So it's the next day or night actually, I didn't make an update this morning because I woke up a little later than usual but I did finish the beading last night, um, some teal ones and also the pearl ones and I'm really happy with how this is turning out and I actually don't want this to end and I think that's why I'm taking my sweet time to finish this but just now I finished the next band with these satin stitches and also the beading. Yeah, this one was really fun to stitch but also really quick and I really like how it turned out. So now I only have one more band left to stitch and it's pretty thick and it looks really decorative. Oh, it looks really decorative. There's a lot of cross stitches but also beads, embroidery stitches. So I'm going to start with the cross stitches. Yeah, I'm so close to finishing this. I'm really excited but at the same time I don't want this to end. But anyways. So I'm just going to start the cross stitches now, but it's pretty late already, so I'm not going to have a lot of progress, but yeah, so I'll talk to you tomorrow. Hi everyone, so I only got two rows of stitches done after my last update, and I'm going across like I did with all of my bands, and there is a pattern to this band, but it's kind of confusing to go row by row, so I think I might do them in sections instead of going by row by row because this is getting a little confusing to me. But yeah, so this is all I got done last night, but I just wanna quickly show you some of the new things that I'm adding to my shop tonight. Um, it'll probably be up by the time you see this video, but yeah, so I made this new thread keeper slash needle minder for Halloween this year. So you can keep your thread, but also your needle, like a regular needle minder, just like this. And I got the skinny long magnets for this one so that it covers more area. And I think this works way better than the regular round ones that I used to use. And then this time I wanted to try different products. So I made this keychain. And this here, it says, but first coffee with some chain charms. And you can use it as a keychain or a scissor fob because it has both components. And because I really like this image that I drew, I also made it into a hand towel. And it's really soft and tiny. And I don't usually carry a handkerchief or a hand towel in my bag when I go out, but recently I kind of started thinking that I should because with everything going on. So yeah, I wanted to make my own. And then I also made this Tuxedo Kitty keychain. And this is also available as a needle minder too. And I have another cat design as a needle minder, but this has some of the same components, the keyring for keys and the lobster clasp and the same chain charm, but in black. But yeah, I think this might be one of my favorites because I drew this kitty because there's several tuxedo cats in our neighborhood and I just find them so friendly and cute. So yeah, I just had to make one. And then this, I just made it for myself, but I think I'll add it to the shop anyways, but it has the same image as this one. But instead of but first coffee, it says stitch with coffee, my shop name, and it's a little smaller, but I think I'm just going to have both of them, um, the both the keychain and the needle minders in my shop. And this is the only thread keeper that I made this time, but I restocked the other thread keepers. So these are some of the thread keepers that I have, and I have some of the potion bottles as well. But I'll add more pictures at the end of this video, so if you're not interested, you can just skip the end part of this video. But these are just some of the new items um, that I added to the shop. 
And I also added some more scissor fobs and also some new bracelets this time because my mom makes them and I just wanted to help her out. So if you want to see them and visit my shop, I'll really appreciate it. The link will be in the description box below. So yesterday I tried to finish all of the cross stitches but I wasn't able to, but I'm making more progress by doing it in sections. So I only have two more to go, and this way is much better than what I was doing before stitching it row by row across. So after the cross stitches, there are some embroidery stitches in these empty spaces and also beads. And it's really hard to tell, but I know it's going to look really pretty, so I'm really excited about those. But yeah, so it's actually Sunday, and tomorrow is Korean Thanksgiving, Chuseok, so I don't know how much I can stitch today. Um, so my plan was to finish this by today, but I don't think that's going to happen, which is fine. So I'm not going to end this video yet, I'll just continue with this vlog until I finish this. So I'm going to stitch a little bit now, but after I need to help with making the Chuseok food for tomorrow, so I'll talk to you later.
So I just finished Bliss by Just Man, and it's getting a little dark, so I don't know how well you will be able to see this. But yeah, I finished all of the cross stitches and the embroidery stitches. There were two different kinds, and then the beading. Um, I don't know if you can. Well, you can see kind of see the pink ones and the teal ones, but there are also um, a couple of pearl ones in here too. But yeah, this is finished now, and yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. This was super fun, and it looks really small now, looking at it finished, but yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. So tonight, I think I'll start working on Baker's Wife again, and I'm going to start working on her dress. Oh, here, the dress with this turquoise colors. And my goal is to finish all of the cross stitches by end of this month, and then the beading and everything else next month. And I don't know, I'm going to try, but I'm also going to work on the Rose Quaker at the end of the month, so... Yeah, I guess this is going to be end of this video. I'm going to take this off from the Q-snap and put it with my other finishes. And I'm thinking next year I'll start framing things. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video too. And I'm going to add some pictures of needle minders and scissor fobs and other things from my shop right after this. I hope you check out my shop with the new items. And yeah, thank you so much for watching and spending time with me every week. And I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye!